assault was made at the town hall where the mayor of St. Helier presented the baton de justice. On to the royal court buildings, and here Jersey paraded treasured heirlooms of past royal associations for their honored guests. The royal seal presented by Edward I in 1279, and the royal mace, the grateful offering of Charles II, who twice found a haven in Jersey after having to abandon his other dominions. From the Royal Square, with its rich associations with the past, the Queen journeyed to the Springfield showgrounds. Oh, yes. She flipped. Oh, the young day, aren't they? Yeah. Then the Agricultural and Horticultural Society made a presentation to the Queen that will long remind her of the island a Jersey cow with the gorgeous name Beecham Oxford Lady, which will join the royal herd at Windsor. She knows her cows, doesn't she? Oh, oh yes. yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, she knows her cows. Yes, she knows her cows. And so that cow had to be perfect. Oh, it had to be the best in the island. Oh, yes. Oh, and gave the best milk and all oh, the rest. Look, look at that, the horns. Oh. Why have they dehorned them? I don't know. The Queen holds the Channel Islands very dear, doesn't oh, she? Oh, yes. Apparently. Oh, yes. Oh, Jersey, the Channel Islands, yeah. Yeah, you know, we were the only British soil occupied by the Germans. Because they came to see the visit after, when the war oh, ended, they so came soon, soon, after, soon yeah. very, very soon after they came. So, you know, if they didn't think something of the Channel Islands, they wouldn't have bothered to come so soon, but they came. The cruiser Jamaica sailed into St. Helier Harbour, Jersey, carrying the King and Queen on their first visit to the Channel Islands since the Germans were thrown out. How important was that to people living in Jersey? Oh, it is... A well, I think, I think... Hell of a I force. felt so important to think that the King and Queen would come over to see us. Yeah. yeah. Took the it meant a lot. Yes. Take the trouble to come and see yeah. a little place like us. Oh, yeah. What memories does that bring back? Well, for me personally, straight away, I was so proud to be British. Oh, <laughs> I should think we were. Yeah. Oh, la la. It was a holiday for us. We took it a holiday, yes. Even if we hadn't had given, you know, declared, we would have not gone to work that day. I remember when her father died, King George V. Yeah. I was 10. Right. And I cried. <laughs> really? <laughs> By tradition, the seniors of Rose Allen O'Grey, they're the lords of the manor, are the first to greet a monarch visiting Jersey. Tradition demands that they ride out till their horses are up to their girths in the sea to welcome the ruler. But on this occasion, the senior of Roselle, Brigadier Raoul Lempier Robin, and the senior of O'Grey, Mr. John Deveau, were excused this duty. I think she looked beautiful. She was always well turned out, of course, you know, and so yes. Which is what we always looked, but we knew she was going to be well looked, yep. well dressed. Always, what colour will she be wearing here? Yeah, always different, yeah. different colours. Yeah. One by one, Jersey's twelve seigneurs, the island's feudal lords of the manor, repeated the act of homage first made to Charles II in 1660. How important have her visits been to Jersey over the years for you two? Well, I think we were honoured yeah. to be chosen. That's the way I put it. Yeah, that's right. I'm just me. No, no, that's true. We were honoured. Yes, yes. How does it feel for you two looking back over those decades and recalling so many different memories from your lives? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I think we were lucky in many ways. We were born the right time. Yep. Definitely. I've said it many, many a time. We were born at the right time. Please rise for Her Majesty the Queen! I honestly think it's marvellous that we have seen so much. Because we have.